sweatpants at because I know you're out there because so many of you guys have watched the Pacific Rim action figure short I put out and it just blew my mind how popular it was. So I had to get out there and get one of the Jaeger action figures. In fact, I got Gypsy Adventure here. So let's go ahead and find out if this Jaeger action figure is a yay or a nay. Bam! Here we have the Gypsy Avenger action figure from the Pacific Rim Uprising. And it is from Diamond Select, as you can see right there. You've got the figure behind clear plastic with all of its parts and whatnot, which we'll take a look in a second. Great illustration right here. Here's the top of the figure, just some plastic with the lights in. Here's the bottom. Remember, find it at a local comic book shop. <laughs> here we go. Here's the side logo up there. Logo down here it says action figure, no doubt. And again, it's the same. And here is the Pacific Rim. The figure itself, I'm guessing this could be toy photography. I don't know. Here is the little uh, bio of the Gypsy Avenger, this Jaeger, as well as the Diamond Select, Legendary, the people who like release this, distributors. But it's been in the box for about two years and well, it's time to unbox this guy. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so let's see what this Gypsy Avenger Jaeger comes with. First off, in the accessories department, he has his beautiful bladed hand. I think this is kind of like a plasma sword. And my goodness, that is gorgeous with the hand. You got paint damage going on there. Great paint job there. And just look at that. You got kind of like a little bit of serratedness going on with the dual color of just where the edges are at, as well as just right down there in the middle. And it's a pretty decent size. If I had to guess one, two, about like two and a half, maybe three inches fully. So. So does that, that mark move? <laughs> does that part move? Can't talk. No, that's pretty solid piece. So that's beautiful. Oh, wow. All right. Following that up, you have these wonderful double chainsaw hands. Just holding them, just seeing them, I can already hear like the chainsaw sound. I don't know about you. Can you hear it? <laughs> <laughs> but oh my gosh, these look great. Again, you have that like shiny paint going on with a dual tone the dark silver dark gray with a nice silver and just like hopefully you can kind of see just look at that serrated edges all those details are great on that and again solid hands these don't move and about the same type of a paint job as well when it comes to the arm portion but man these are gorgeous i think these are actually my favorite of the accessories and then from there we have two closed fist types, so really nice. And I think these parts do move. They have that little peg right there, so you can move that around. They'll just go right there. Really nice, really nice. Put that down. And then these pieces, which I think are the gravity sling pieces. Um, for my Jaeger fans out there, if you know for certain, uh, drop that in the comments. I think they're both, I think this part might be lifting. I don't know if this does that, but it's almost like very cool claws. But I think these are the gravity parts that allow him to kind of pick up vehicles and buildings and throw them at kaijus. And again, great piece. These almost kind of have that, oh, the armor like opens up where the others don't. Cause I think these kind of extend out and again, great paint job on these. Really well done. And just to kind of give you an idea, anyway, hands are pretty simple. These actually connect right up here at the bicep area. Ooh, that fell off. I think you kind of just pop them out right there. These go in. Uh -huh. Oh, let me choose the right, correct one. This one. <laughs> and again, a little pressure, and they pop right in. So not too bad. Damn it. Ooh, uh, went off camera there for a second. Just pop that back in. Little brute force, come on guys. You can just kind of see the hole right there. There we go, snaps into place. And while we're at it, the shoulder armor goes right in there. So, all right, now let's check out the details on this action figure. I mean, starting out with the head, look at that. Got that gorgeous visor, really nicely done. Great armor throughout. Got little red stripes here. Again, throughout the whole body, You've got all this wonderful battle damage paint. So that's really nice. His core right here, a bright orange, gorgeous. The chest piece, love the segmented armor that just kind of goes straight to the core. 
with the red line, with the battle damage painting, your nice great dry brush over that kind of gray. Shoulders look wonderful right there. The arms itself, again, I love the segmented plating on these deals. And just look at the details on the hand. All those fingers. I wish they actually kind of articulated, but they don't, <laughs> sadly. The segmented torso right here and the three ch segment chunks, beautifully done. Flip it over to the back. I do not remember what these are called or what they're used for, but they look cool. Um, I think they're kind of in there, so they don't do anything, but that's nice. Again, the legs right here, beautifully done. You got the numbering that's right there, as well as, I guess additional might've been numbering, might've been like kind of the Gypsy Avengers kind of logo. I can't remember from the movie. Uh, Jaeger buffs, again, let me know. What was this supposed to be? It's, ni it's nicely battle damage. That's what it is for sure. And gorgeous legs. Loving the whole like blue to the silver throughout where all the joints happening. And the feet are great too. Got these nice little stabilizers right there. Again, beautifully painted, beautifully sculpted on like both the front and the back. I mean, honestly speaking, well done there. Oh yeah, and the next part, as always, how well does this thing articulate? Let's find out. So we're gonna check with the head. Head movement, a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, that minor. Nothing down, nothing up, nothing real side to side. <laughs> All right, let's see the arms. Not quite a T motion, you're getting restriction by these shoulders. As you can tell, and if you do it too hard, it pops off. <laughs> but again, as you just saw earlier, you just pop it right back on, right in there. So, really good. Let's see anything at the bicep. Bicep does move, does rotate, but it's kind of difficult with, again, this piece. Elbows, that's about it. Very limiting, sadly. Again, I think it's all due to the sculpt armor. The wrist, nicely, that's pretty smooth. Hands go in, great. Obviously, I can already tell right here, they're not gonna go back. So there's restrictions there. Side to side, very minor. Oh, like butter, smooth rotation right there. Nothing there, all right. Legs, that's about as far as they're gonna go. Again, all that armor restriction. Oh, I totally forgot about this part of the arms. But the shoulder kind of aspect, nice rotation right there. And this thing keeps wanting to fall off, so I'm just gonna leave it right down here. <laughs> Legs, front kick, great. Back kick, really smooth. And the knees, wonderfully done. Wish to go back a little bit further, but again, that's probably as far as it's gonna go. Anything else? Not really. Feet, nope, no forward, no rock, a little, a little bit of rocking, not much. But, ah, not too bad on the articulation, shoulders keep popping off. And, whoa, what do we got there? What do we got there? Let's just check that out. Ooh, that's, that boy is loose. Look at that. This guy needs a bowl of fiber. That's loose. All right. Well, that's going to be probably an issue. <laughs> there is a little bit of a rotation right there, but oh my goodness, that's. I wonder if there's a way to tighten that up. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Well, let's find out when we try to go ahead and pose them. But first, let's go ahead and see the size of this action figure. Now, this Gypsy Avenger Jaeger stands up to be about eight inches tall which is a pretty decent size for a majority of the Diamond Select action figures, in my opinion. And if you're a Diamond Select action figure collector, here is Gypsy Avenger next to other action figures from that manufacturer, should you add it to your collection. And just for fun, here is the Gypsy Avenger Jaeger next to other notable character action figures. Now, for what I like about this Jaeger action figure, first off, the sculpt on this Jaeger is immaculate. My goodness, the amount of detail work from all the armor parts on this figure is just amazing. You have so much detail in the armor as well as the internal aspect. The head sculpt is great. That center piece of the kind of basically, I guess what's that, the engine core is just awesome. Inlay line work, 
and just on that alone, a great fandom piece. And to top it all off, and the coloring on this figure is top notch with all the battle damage paintwork on it, the detailed numbering and logo works, as well as a thin red line work. I mean, they really went out of their way to make this a great looking figure for Pete's sakes. I mean, super impressed for a figure that back in its day when it was first released, probably ranged around the like the $29 to $32 mark. Now, obviously finding that price point is gonna be a little bit harder since this is an older figure, so good luck on that. <laughs> but there are major issues to this figure. One of them being the articulation of this Jaeger. First off, you're thinking it's going to be extremely smooth when taking it out of the packaging, but after messing around with the articulation, a lot of the joints become extremely loose, and depending upon how you pose it, or just in certain areas in regards to gravity, those limbs will collapse on themselves, and that is just really bad. Then there's the issue of the dynamic posing. First off, you can barely move the arms up in a T motion due to the restrictions on the shoulder. But my biggest complaint was the legs, the loose limbs and the legs. Being able to do any type of posing outside the standing was almost impossible with the legs not able to support the center of gravity of this action figure, causing the whole figure to collapse or just kind of shrink down. I mean, I can even sometimes barely get it to stand upright. It was very frustrating to achieve almost any pose with this action figure. Wow, what a review on this Jaeger. I mean, whew, some ups and downs for sure. And I bet you're all wondering which way am I leaning? Is it yay or is it nay? I mean, yay for sure on the sculpt of this figure and for the coloring. The paint job is superb, especially for a figure that costs about $29.99. Mwah! But, <sighs> It definitely had some name factors to it. Again, you saw that when I talked about the cons, the loose joints, as well as how hard it was for me to just kind of pose this action figure. It just kept falling down. And weighing those two aspects, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give it a big <laughs> nay, because I like having my figure out of the box and posing it. And I just couldn't really do that with this Jaeger. And it just pains me to say that. Still a great piece of fandom for anyone who's a specific Rim fan. I mean, get it if you love these things, they're awesome. But I just might say, keep it in the box to display it. Otherwise, still a cool piece. But hey, to each their own. <laughs> but I have to say, I really do love the Diamond Select line. In fact, I've actually reviewed a few of their action figures from their like their Marvel line, and like this blade here, or this Beta Ray Bill. You're gonna love them, check them out. Well, thanks for joining me here on Nerd Amazing. And as always, be passionate in what you do, share your passion with others, and be kind to one another, as this world can always use more goodness in it. This is Adam with Nerd Amazing, and I'll see you next time.